Hello. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be exploring um, abstract shapes using two colors. I've picked a warm and a cool, a cobalt teal and a dye, I can't pronounce it, diarolide yellow. You can pick any two colors you wish, wish to explore. Warm cool is good, complementary colors, uh, black and white. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do direct mixing. This is a bit of a test. Direct mixing on a paper bag, which I like to do because it's non-threatening. Okay, and I'm going to put about a mm, teaspoon of the yellow and the blue on different corners. So sometimes we want to explore color mixing and gradations, but without the fuss of um, using a palette knife. So this is much more free form. Okay, so I'm gonna mix directly on here. So my painting is both my palette and my painting. Added a little bit of water. And the goal is to fill this whole page with um, these colors. It's already mixing. So I don't have any preconceived plan in mind here. Just directly observing what kind of mixtures I can get with these two colors. Probably didn't even need that much paint. And I can do thick paint add a little bit more water and do thin paint. So I'm mostly going to thick here. I think I'm going to start uh, playing with adding some water and going a little bit thinner. I can scratch in with the back of my brush and do a little bit of scraffito. That's not really showing the brown paper very much. It's also another way of mixing. So more blue and a little bit of yellow is going to be more in the in the um, darker side of the green scale. very warm today so then I can even I'm brushing more paint on top a little bit of dry brushing so some of the color from below is showing through so once I've filled this whole thing it becomes a um, a backdrop a background for me to then I could probably add I'm going to bring in um, some other colors on top 
with finer detail. Okay, so there's my backdrop. And I could do black and white. And I can do um, a complementary, let's see, this is magenta. So that would be complementary to the blue green. And I pick these uh, high flow acrylics because I'm going to I'm going to play with um, doing a little stamping with these found objects. I got a Lincoln log here, some Q-tips, um, kind of an eraser stamp. So I'm going to this is where you might want to have uh, palette paper. I'm just going to squeeze it off to the side here. Actually, this is not black. That is indigo. Okay, so then I'm just going to play with these found objects. on my painted backdrop and bring in some more contrasting detail. Okay, now I'm gonna do the red or the magenta. Use my Lincoln log. You can also paint finer patterns with uh, a detail brush. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to go with some uh, white. I'll bring in the brush. No, actually, I'm going to do I'm going to do some Q-tips are good. I can also paint lines with those. Now I'm just using a, a dry brush, no water, and I'm kind of whisking across the top of some of this wet paint just to soften it a little bit. So I'm exploring shape, color mixing, pattern, various brushes, found object stamping tools, just to see what I can get.
And I like to work the page in kind of an overall um, fashion. That helps the piece uh, be a little bit more cohesive. Okay, and there you have it. Abstract shape painting and color mixing on a paper bag.